Hi my loves, so I am here today to do an upcoming releases. I am extremely excited for a video. I am so scared of falling down. I just won't climb in the first place. These are in no particular order. I will put the right date of their releases in the bottom corner here. I will be going pretty fast, not talking a lot, a lot about each because there are quite a few. There will be a link down below tagged to my Goodreads shelf that I made for all of these. So if any of these books interest you and you want to add them to your TBR, the link will be down below so you can do that. The first book we have here is After Love by Tanya Bairn. Bairn? Sorry, I'm really bad at names. So this story seems to be about Ash and she is about to become a reaper and the only thing separating her from her first love, Poppy, is death. So, so she gets into a car crash and she doesn't know if she's dead or alive but she wants to get a few more days with Poppy. So that's the gist of the story I've got. It is, <laughs> it is a sapphic romance, I believe. It is fantasy, paranormal, which I enjoy. Um, I believe it would be quite a sad story, but I am super interested to see what this story is about. And the synopsis just pulled me right in. So yeah. The next one is The Infinity Courts by Akemi Don Bowman. And this is about 18-year-old Nami. Um, she's a great family. She just graduated from high school. Um, on her way to a party where her entire class is waiting for her, including, most importantly, the boy she's been in love with for years. The only problem, she's murdered before she gets there. I do not want to read any more of the synopsis because that is, that just took me and grabbed me and been like, you're going to read me. So I don't want to can, like read any more of the synopsis to you guys, but this sounds like such a fun read. It's science fiction, it's romance, uh, fantasy, and I love like a murder mystery plot line. I... I'm so excited for this. I believe this is the first book in a trilogy or a series. I am not sure. But either way, I will be picking this up because it sounds amazing. Didn't that just draw you in? Like, it drew me in. I'm get all my money. So the next book is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. Um, this is a fantasy with LGBT rep and it is i believe it follows a pansexual main character which was what made me drew me into this storyline i have not read much about pansexual main characters and i really like to see the diversity but regardless of seeing that as a way to draw me in the synopsis sounds great so in Thanoclis, those gifted with magic are assigned undead spirits to guard them and control them. Ever since Rovin's father died trying to keep her from this fate, she's hidden her magic. But when she accidentally reveals her powers, she's bound to a spirit and thrust into the world of palace intrigue and deception. So, it sounds good anyway. I, I am so excited for this, like, a fantasy with a pansexual main character. I will take it and undead spirits there's a rebellion there's living dead like I got approved for a net galley arc of this and I've been dying to pick it up but because I just started on um, this channel and I've been doing a couple of other things I haven't been reading as much as I normally do um, which I kind of expected but dying to pick this up and I have a copy of it on my kindle but I just haven't got around to it but it is a priority for me and I would like to pick it up as soon as I can. The next book is That Weekend by Cara Thomas so this is a mystery thriller, a young adult, um, three best friends, a lake house, a secret ship, what could go wrong. I don't like to read much into the thrillers that I'm into simply because I like to go in not knowing much. I think that's a popular thing among people that read thrillers because you don't want to be told pretty much all the story in the synopsis and then 
when you read the book, you're like, oh yeah, I know that. I like going in and feeling like I don't know anything. So when things do start becoming um, more clear, I can feel like I'm having an epiphany while I'm reading. Um, and the shock value is so much better when you don't get anything spoiled. And I believe sometimes the synopsis of thrillers gives too much away. So yeah, all I really know is it's a young adult thriller. It's realistic fiction and I have enjoyed Cara Thomas's work in the past. So uh, I will be picking this up and I will be avoiding the synopsis for the time being. The next book I have here is Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambury, a rich, dark urban fantasy following a teen witch, love witches, that drew me in. I'm, I'm sold, I'm sold, I'm buying this book. <laughs> who is given a horrifying task, sacrificing her first love to save her family's magic. The problem is she's never been in love. She'll have to find the perfect guy before she can kill him. I haven't read anything else about this book. It's a common thing um, between all of these books is that I have not actually read either their full synopsis or anything about them because I like going into stuff not knowing much. Um, this sounds amazing. I, I am very partial to witches in books. I love witch books. Um, they often, sometimes, even if they're a side character, become my favourite characters simply because they have the ability to use magic. This sounds right up my street. I want to buy this straight away. I read that little bit and was just like, yep, take my money, I'm buying it. So, yeah. <laughs> the next book is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Um, this is set when uh, George Bush is in the White House, Nirvana's in the tape deck, a movie-obsessed student Charlie Jordan is in a car with a man who might be a serial killer. Ooh. So this sounds like... Um, this sounds actually quite fun in a way because, like, it's going to be the serial killer and the the victim I suppose in the car together and it's going to be like all tension and like I I am up for this I like the sound of that synopsis Riley Sager is a well-loved author I haven't read any of his work I do own um Lock Every Door I do own Lock Every Door by this author but I have not read it I did read Home Before Dark and I absolutely loved it. I listened to it on audio um, in like two two days and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really hoping this gives me um, Home Before Dark vibes. The same kind of writing, not the same kind of story because it's different. But yeah, I I like, um, like the t true crime and detective shows on... Um, thriller mysteries so when I seen this I was like you just took the two things that I like popped it into a book and now I'm going to give you my money to read it. The next one is Not My Problem by Sierra Smith. Again this is um, an LGBT book. This is about Eden has plenty of problems. She can't fix her best friend. Only friend is pulling away. Her mother's drinking problem is a constant concern. She's even running out of outlandish diseases so she can skip PE. Um, let me see. So I don't know much about this. This is a young adult contemporary story. I do own the Falling in Love montage by the same author. I like my contemporaries to have a little bit more of a theme, whether it be a diverse character, as in diverse sexually, or a diverse character, as in culture, religion. Um, so I just really want that little bit more from my contemporaries now. I feel like I can get quite the sluggish going on when I just read normal contemporaries. So pretty much any contemporary I read now is either is diverse because they're better. The next one is Some Girls Do This Just Yeah, so this is another LGBT book. This is um an openly gay track star falls for a closeted bisexual teen beauty queen with a penchant a penchant for fixing up old cars. 
again i don't need to know any more about this book and this if you're sick of me and saying that i will stop i am sorry <laughs> but like this just interests me i like a bit more oomph to my contemporaries and yeah the next book is take me home tonight by morgan matson um it says Ferris Bueller's Day Off meets Nikki and Nora's Infinite Playlist and a romp through the city that never sleeps from the New York Times bestseller, Morgan Matson. I don't need to know anything about this. I have a whole Morgan Matson shelf down here that's off camera that you cannot see. Her contemporaries are one of the only contemporaries that I read that are um, just normal everyday contemporaries. I... I love her writing style. I've liked her since I joined Booktube. Well, I liked her since I started watching Booktube. So I've picked up all of her work and I've read it consistently every time she releases a new one. And that will not change. I fly through them. I have a fun time. I it's just it's just like um like sweets. It's like a bar of chocolate. It's like you eat it, you enjoy it for what it was, um, you had fun. I would read it again. They make me feel like good because they're just quick, fun, easy reads. So yeah, uh this is this is my chocolate bars. If diverse and more interesting contemporaries are my tea, then Morgan Matson is like my chocolate bar. Why am I referencing food so much? Am I hungry? I don't know. So, the next book I have here is The Hollow Inside. And it is about Phoenix and Mum Nina have spent years on the road using their charm and wits to swindle and steal to get by. Now they've made it to the ultimate destination, Mum's hometown of Jasper Hollow. The plan, bring down Elis Bowman, the man who ruined Nina's life. So this is a mystery thriller and it follows a mum and daughter um, team. <laughs> I I like stuff that has mum and daughter things because like, I'm really close to my mum so I like reading about other people being close to their parents. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this because it's um, a murder mystery and I believe the daughter will find out some things about her mum which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, so. The next one is Excuse Me While I Ugly... Ugh. The next book is Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry by Joa Joffrey. Joffney. Joa Joffney. So, um, this is about Quinn. Keeps lists of everything from the day she's ugly cry to things that I would never admit out loud. Uh, all the boys she's like to kiss... Her lists keep her sane. By writing her fears on paper, she never has to face them in real life. That is until her journal goes missing. So this sounds like a very fun story about a girl who loses all her private thoughts and I suppose loads of shenanigans. Per, uh, um, I suppose this creates a lot of chaos and a load of panic ensues. So I will enjoy watching this character try and get her thoughts back before anybody of importance sees them so that is the books that I am have my eye on that I am interested in I will be doing a part two to this these tend to get a little bit long because of how many books that I have on this list um but I will leave the link down below for the Goodreads shelf so you can add these to your TBR I know I didn't explain much about each one but I don't want to read the whole synopsis to you because that gets boring I just want you to know that these are on my radar and I hope maybe you find something from this list that you put on your your radar and yeah I will be back soon with another video stay safe stay happy bye pack up my summer in a ziplock bag Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember